Hello Gunners, welcome back to another video and Arsenal are really edging closer to the signing of Ricardo Calafiori from Bologna. So in today's video, I'm just going to show you how Arsenal could line up with the signing of Calafiori, looking at the different teams that we could put out in the defence and it's looking really, really good. But before I begin, as always, if you could please smash that like button and smash the subscribe button, it will really, really, really be much appreciated. So without further ado, let us begin. The way I've set this out is have defence A, B and C. And you will notice in all of these defences, there are players missing the likes of Kivior, the likes of Tomiyasu as well, who are very, very good defenders in their own right. But I'm just going to be focused on, on how Calafiori as an individual would fit in rather than looking at the likes of Tomiyasu to come in and all of that sort of stuff. Because Tomiyasu is definitely going to play a big part next season if he can stay fit. So I'm looking at that defence A, let us start there, which has Calafiori at left back, Gabriel at centre back with Saliba as always. And then at right back, we have Ben White. And I think this sort of team is best used in those big Champions League nights. I feel like Calafiori is fantastic defensively and in his 1v1 duels, he's very, very good, especially out wide. That's where he originally started his career as a left back. So he knows how to defend out in the channels. And that is key for us, especially when we're going to be coming up against the likes of Rodrigo's uh, Manchester City specialists in Bernardo Silva and Doku. You need those 1v1 specialists and Calafiori is certainly that. So having him at that left back area would help us so much. And then obviously you've got Gabriel and Saliba who are just absolute rocks at the back. And you've just always got to have them as the duo, especially in those big games in the Champions League. Although last season they did disappoint me at home at the Emirates against Bayern Munich in the Champions League. I feel like they could have definitely played a lot better. Then at right back, of course, Ben White. We still need that attacking threat, that overlapping threat that Ben White provides. I know Julian Timber could easily fit into this team as well to play as the right back. But I feel like against the likes of Real Madrid in those bigger games, you know, Ben White, he's up to speed. It will take probably Timber a whole season, a season and a half, half a season, sorry, to get used to the speed of, you know, those big games. So Ben White right back. And let's not forget the quality of Ben White. I'm actually very disappointed when I see, you know, lineups without Ben White there. He's one of our best, you know, defenders, one of our most consistent and most available defenders too. So it's very important that we have him in the lineups. So, yeah, that is team defence A, I'll put it. Very good defenders in their own right. And they'll just really help us in those big games, especially, you know, the ones in the Premier League. You go into Anfield away from home, you know the crowd, you know you need to be really good technically, but also very good defensively in your 1v1 duels. And having those four of Calafiori, Gabriel, Saliba and Ben White will very much help us do that. You could also, again... Like I said, Tommy Asu could also come in and play right back instead of Ben White. Then you've got straight four brilliant, you know, 1v1 defenders. But of course, Ben White, for me, would be part of that back four in those big games with Calafiori, Gabriel and Saliba. Now on to defence B. And I already know a lot of you had been looking at defence B and looking at left back and seeing Zinchenko. For some reason, our fan base doesn't like Zinchenko. It really gets to me because... If we're talking about him as a pure footballer, he's very, very good. We can't forget what he did in his first season. Really good, you know, helping us with our build-up. Kind of the key to unlocking most teams, you know. We know he has def defensive deficiencies, but he very much does make up for that when we're going forward against those low blocks. And that exactly is what defence B is. It is specifically for those low blocks. When you're playing those teams which are just sitting back, it's annoying, you can't break them down. You need your technically good players there. And I know you guys have already seen that Gabriel isn't at left centre back. And I'm so, so sorry. But the simple fact is Kyle Fury is much better on the ball than Gabriel. And I'm sorry, that is just a fact of it. You know, we need technical ability back there. And certainly Kyle Fury with Saliba would be our best centre back pairing in terms of we're looking at players on the ball and then of course Ben White would come out for Julian Timber. Julian Timber is probably one of our best defenders on the ball as well. He will come into midfield and then you'll also have Zinchenko coming into midfield as well. Two very good players on the ball and then you just have Calafiori and Saliba just sweeping behind and that is a brilliant brilliant back four. I'm thinking to the games last season where we did really struggle to break down teams and we're looking at Fulham away from home and Fulham at home. 
those two games as an Arsenal fan was absolutely excruciating to watch. You know, just seeing us have no ideas, you know, unlocking that Fulham hard, you know, it was a mid block. It was a mid block from Fulham. So players like Calafiori in the back with Saliba, who are really good ball progressors with Zinchenko and Timber, also very good ball progressors, will help us. You've also got the defensive security of Jurin Timber. And Timber can overlap as well, like Ben White does on occasion. So I think that's a really balanced back four when we're playing those teams which are very much sitting back or playing those mid blocks and are really hard to break down. But yeah, that is Defence B. Let me know your thoughts on Defence B and Defence A in the comment section. I do love hearing your guys' thoughts on my teams. Do not come for me. This is all purely theoretical. It would be funny now after all this if Califiori didn't get over the line. But if he did, you know, just look at the variety on on the screen of different defences we can play. And that is just, you know, not considering the likes of Tomiyasu and Kivior there as well. There is a lot of variety. And Mika Arteta is certainly going to lick his lips if Calafiori does come through the door. So now, finally, let's go on to that defence C. And this is what I call my favourite defence, really. I love Ben White. He's such a fantastic footballer. But this defence, I feel like you can play it against anybody. Mid-block, low-block, you know, high-pressing team. Um... You know, teams that love to attack you. This back four is basically perfect. Players who are really good defensively 1v1 in Timber and Calafiori in those wide areas. Players who are also comfortable stepping into the midfield from the centre-half position, Saliba and then also Gabriel. Although I did say Calafiori is better on the ball than Gabriel, Gabriel has massively improved his on-the-ball skills. So he will still be very good and he's a dual monster, exactly what you want. So you've then got Calafiori coming into midfield, Timber coming into midfield. You've got that technical ability with those two wing-backs or whatever you want to call it, full-backs. And then you've also got Gabriel and Saliba back there too. So I feel like that's, that's just a delicious lineup. I would want to see it most weeks in the Premier League. Maybe a bit of alterations with the Ben White and Timber. But that certainly on screen defense c is definitely our best one in terms of overall quality when you're looking at both on the ball and off the ball defensively anyway gunners that's it for now that is how i would fit ricardo calafiori into the arsenal team and it's looking good if this signing gets done and i hope it gets done because he'll add a lot of quality and variety to our play so until next time gunners peace